Welcome back. What do you do if your new house seems to be on a slant? You call Wendy Russell to give you tips on fixing your floor. That's what. Wendy, tell us what it felt like when you first walked into your short-term rental project in Prince Edward County. Uh, well, Tracy, if you've ever been to a fun house, you know <laughs> that you kind of like things are moving in the way they shouldn't and you're, you're dizzy. Yeah. You're not feeling good. That is what this main floor was. It was not. It was. It was not a good thing. Now the catch was that it was so bad. There was actually another couple that had an accepted offer in on this property, and they walked away from this house because the floors were so bad, and it looked like it was going to be absolute a, a ton of work to fix. So. I swooped in and, uh, and got the house, and we got it for a really great price because the sellers knew that there were some things that needed to be done. So we got an amazing price on this house, and yeah, we were able to, uh, to you know, do a little, a little fix on this and get her, get her, get her feeling normal. Well, this is what I want to know then, because I've lived in sort of a bit of a slanty house. It wasn't slant, slant, but you knew if you put a marble on the ground, it was going to roll to one side. How do you yes. fix that? Like, how did you fix your slanted floors? Well, the, the good, here's the good news. When we had the inspection done, the inspector went under the house and he checked out the crawl space and the, the previous owner had properly shored up the house. The catch is this house is... 180 years old. It was built 1840-ish. Um, it was actually rumored to be the first hotel in Wellington, Ontario. Um, it's right by the Millennial Trail, which was the train between Montreal and Toronto. And the workers would get off right here and they would come and stay in this house. So it has changed hands over the years so many times in so many different configurations that people just kept cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting and the house started going like this. So the, the, the technique, the, the easiest, when I say easy, it's not. It's called uh, the sleeper technique. And sleepers, it's an old British term that means literally a timber lying horizontally on a floor. That's all it is. And so the, they are, um, there are long lines of two by fours that have been cut on angles to make sure that the floor is level. So painstakingly, that it's a lot of math, so get, the, get a pro to come in and do this for you. But they will cut, um, cut the two by fours on angles and then you lay a new subfloor on top and then you can put your flooring. So that is the solution and um, it works like a charm. Okay, but you have to have more than grade 10 math to solve that issue. <laughs> Yeah, oh my God. yeah, it's a lot. Very precise. Lot. I heard there were a few other issues in the living room. So uh, how do you fix bowing windows? So what they did, one of the other things a previous owner did at some point was they wanted a nice large window in the living room. So they cut this giant hole. Well, when they cut the hole, they also cut the 10 by 10 post that was holding up the house. So it's weakened the structure. You never, you know, it's never good when you can't open your window. That was our first clue. We're like, this is, this is, this is literally, you could see the angle. So um, I'm like, we need to open a window at some point. That would be good. So what you do is you, again, um, get, get the professionals on this one. I do not recommend this as a DIY, but you need to uh, either put jack posts or two by four, some other support system here before you remove the window because the minute you remove the window it's really the only thing that is supporting the second floor so um so put some jack posts there make it nice and strong pop out the old window so what happened when they cut into this you know one or two actual beams that were holding up the house they didn't put a proper header they did not put a lintel up here and it's the lintel that is supporting the rest of the, uh, the the second floor so very important so we've now got that properly framed in okay so tell me a little bit about how that crookedness on the main floor impacted uh the second floor the stairs we're on an amazing angle, and so we've straightened them. They're not perfect, but they're, they're close. Um, so we've just added new risers, new oak risers, and new treads. And, uh, you know, it, it does the trick short of taking down the entire staircase and starting from scratch, which, you know, maybe at some point we will do, but we, put, we, um, we just put the risers and the treads on, over top of the existing stairs. And there's, so there's a whole lot of shimming that is going on underneath there, but um, it seems to have done the trick. 
That's amazing. So like a shim almost on every one so that they're all level and they all make sense and you don't feel like this. I'm basically standing in a diagonal right yeah. now. You don't feel like this every time you're walking up the <laughs> stairs. It's not a good look. No, it's true. It's true. Yeah. So, you know, now we just, um, we keep either marbles or, you know, a, a box of ping pong balls around for the kids and, you know, just say, now you get to test out everything in the house and see if your, uh, the floors are straight or not. I love not that. Not perfect. She's 180. So <laughs> yeah, she's an old gal. She's got good bones. But what I love about your segments, Wendy, is there are a lot of us, we might not be doing full scale renovations and creating income properties but we're living in old homes and we've got a lot of these issues. Yeah. So if people at home are watching this, I didn't know you could fix slanty floors and I didn't know you could fix a slanty staircase. Now we're seeing the answers uh, because you and your hubs go through all of this and you've been through pretty much every, you know, challenge you can think of uh, when you're dealing with a home and you're doing a renovation. So thank you.